Let us try an example to check for the Asia resistance of a plaque girdle. Again, we are referring to the same set of questions. And this time, you are asked to check for the Asia resistance of the stiffener. You may pause the video for a while for you to work out the solution. To solve these questions, first you need to identify the locations where the shear load is obtained. It is located at a offset distance of 0.5 HW from the stiffeners that you intend to design. The respective shear loads is obtained as given in these equations, which is eventually equals to 578.5 kN. Next, you need to determine the Asia looks acting on the stiffener. It is calculated by minusing the shear loops with the shear resistance of the web. To obtain the shear resistance of the web, you require chi W. The chi W is obtained from table 5.1 in EC3 part 8 based on the table. From the table, you require lambda W. And this lambda prime W require K0. Therefore, we have to search for the K0. In the search of the K nodes, please take note that when you use the A here, it is equals to 3.5 meter. It is no longer 1.75 meter as we assume from determining the shear loops. The reason is we are when we are designing a stiffener here, the A nodes it will be 1.75 from one side and 1.75 from the other side. The summations of both sides it will be the spacing between the stiffener, assuming itself is not there. With that, the A divided by HW is found to be more than 1.0. That means the equation for cannot is this. We conservatively assume the stiffener doesn't contribute anything on here. Therefore, the K dot SL is considered to be zero. The K naught is now found to be 6.07. Then we go back to the table 5.1 in EC3 part 5 and obtain chi W equals to 0 0.332. Substitute the chi W into these equations, and with the shear loops obtained, we found that the Asia resistance required by the stiffener is less than zero. It means that the weight itself is already sufficient to resist for the Asia load. From here, you know that regardless of the size the stiffeners provided, the Asia force should be passed. Let's say now this number is not negative. Then you will have to determine the areas of the stiffeners and calculate the Asia resistance of the member to be compared with the load by the stiffeners. The number has to be less than 1.0 for it to be considered acceptable. However, in this case, a negative value appears. That means that the stiffeners is actually not necessary to resist the Asia force. Again, you will have to check for the Asia force for the every stiffeners along the span. This is particularly important, especially when the spacing between the stiffeners varies along the span.